Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Have you ever gotten an invitation that stated lounge suit as a dress code? Or have you ever wondered why those two terms are combined together and what it means for your outfit? If so, this is the video for you. Today, we discuss the terminology, lounge suit, what it means, where it comes from, and most importantly, what you should wear and not wear when the invitation asks for a lounge suit. <laughs> By the way, this is a series of different dress codes, so if you ever come across something and you don't know what to wear, come to our channel, search for it, and you'll find the answer. So, what is a lounge suit? First of all, we have two words, lounge and suit. Suit means you have a matching pair of pants and a jacket. It comes from the French term suivre, which means to follow, so your jacket follows your pants, or your pants follow your jacket. A suit is not a combination, meaning a jacket like a blazer or an orphaned suit jacket that is then combined with a contrasting pair of pants in a different color or pattern. Now, sometimes people also wear a dark blue pair of slacks with a dark blue jacket, but they're not made of the same fabric, and that's not a suit either. So when you have a suit, make sure the fabric is the same for the jacket and for the pants. Today, when people think of a lounge, they assume a more casual outfit, and a suit to them is a more formal outfit. In fact, for most men out there, wearing a suit is likely the most formal garment they will wear on a regular day-to-day -day basis. Now that we got that squared away, what is a lounge suit? The term lounge suit was coined in the beginnings of the early 20th century. At that time, a regular suit was rather casual, and so that's what you would wear to a lounge. So obviously, things haven't changed in the sense that lounges were considered casual, yet the whole formality scale of clothes was very different. In Victorian times, gentlemen would mostly wear frock coats as well as morning coats, and a lounge suit was a new casual kid on the block. So today, when it says lounge suit, don't be confused. You actually have to wear a dark suit that is rather formal and very similar to what you wear when a dress code would call for business attire or if you'd go to a funeral. To learn more about funerals, what to wear and how to behave, please check out this video here. If you're interested in business attire or what business casual means, please check out this video. Most of the time, you'll find the lounge suit dress code on written invitations. For example, when you're invited at an embassy or let's say at Buckingham Palace. So what exactly should you wear when a dress code calls for a lounge suit? Basically, a dark suit with a necktie. It can either be single-breasted or double-breasted, a two-piece suit or a three-piece suit. To learn how a suit should fit, please check out this video series here. Unlike the dress code black tie, which is very formal and very distinct, and you can learn all about it in this video here, the lounge suit dress code gives you a little more flexibility and room to mix up your outfit. For ladies, lounge suit means either a cocktail dress or some form of a gown. For color, you should go with either navy or charcoal, maybe dark gray, or even a form of charcoal brown can work. Stay clear of any bright and loud colors. Subtle patterns like a pinpoint are okay, maybe a very subtle non-contrasty houndstooth, maybe a faint, faint stripe, but I would stay clear of white rope stripes or big contrasting white stripes on a dark background because that's too loud for a lounge suit dress code. Likewise, stay clear of very casual suits, either materials such as tweed or bold patterns with a very casual structure and texture. The suit should always be worn with a necktie. It can be a regular classic necktie or if you want to, also a bow tie. Stay clear of ascots or an open neck since it's too formal of an occasion to go without proper neckwear. In terms of patterns, keep it classic and conservative, meaning go with maybe a blue tie, a red tie, or something in darker shades. Stay clear of the bright orange or yellow ties. For your shirt, a plain solid white or a plain solid light blue are your best options. Patterned shirts should be avoided, checked shirts, or anything that is quite bold, such as blue and white stripes. The color of your shirt should be a classic turndown color. The spread can vary, and it depends a bit on your face. With a rounder face, 
you can go for a smaller spread and, and a bigger collar with an oval face. You can have a more spread collar, but you definitely want to avoid a button down collar since it would be too casual. The goal is to look appropriate and respectful without being flashy. So for shoes, that means go with a pair of Oxfords, maybe some derbies in either black, a form of a brown, or maybe dark burgundy. Stay clear of loafers, casual textures such as suede or Fulbrooks, since that would be not formal enough. In terms of the rest of your accessories, go with over-the-calf socks so you don't reveal your bare skin. If you want a pocket square, you can go with one. Try to keep it muted. The classic white linen pocket square with hand-rolled edges is probably your best bet, and you can find it in our shop here. I also suggest you go with a more conservative fold, such as the TV fold I'm wearing here right now, not the crown fold or something more flashy. You can wear any form of a micro pattern tie, meaning a small pattern, which is very formal and elegant. For a selection on lounge suit appropriate ties, please check out our store here. Personally, I would avoid a boutonniere, and if you wear a belt, make sure it matches the color of your shoes. If you wear suspenders or braces, they don't have to match because likely you're not going to see them. So in today's video, I'm wearing a typical outfit that would be appropriate when a dress code called for a lounge suit. It's a dark navy single breasted suit, two button with two side vents. It's a worsted wool. It's a little heavier and it drapes well. I have regular pants with cuffs that are pleated, a white shirt with barrel cuffs. You could also opt for French cuffs or double cuffs with cufflinks. My tie is a red and blue with buff tones, a matter silk tie from Fort Belvedere, which you can find in our shop here. The pocket square is the white linen pocket square, a TV fold that goes well with my shirt and underlines the serious and respectful solemnness that the lounge suit dress code requires. My socks are over the calf in navy with a little bit of yellow and a stripe. It's a shadow stripe that works with any kind of navy suit and you can find them in our shop here. My shoes are black semi brooks, which are just formal enough. A full brook would not have worked. A quarter brook would have worked as well as a plain cap toe Oxford. I'm also wearing a pinky ring in rose gold with a bloodstone, which is dark and works well with my entire outfit.